Good evening, New Zealand. I'm Mark Sainsbury. Tonight on Close Up. These pigs were screaming. The pork industry's plunged into panic as their former frontman takes aim. For an industry, it's hard to imagine it getting any worse. Your high-profile spokesman admitting he's now deeply ashamed to have promoted your product. Well, that's the situation the New Zealand Pork Board finds itself in tonight after TVNZ Sunday programme showed Mike King secretly investigating a pig farm. Horrified at the farming practices, pigs in crates barely enough to contain them. The Agriculture Minister wants the farm investigated, and in fact the pork industry agrees. But tonight the board is in crisis mode. Now Wednesday's long-awaited Best Bacon Awards are postponed. In a moment, the chairman of the pork board fronts up along with safe spokesman and joins us here with Mike King. But first, take a look at last night's expose. Crate farming should be outlawed immediately. It was absolutely harrowing. They were chewing the bars. These pigs were chewing the bars. Froth was coming out of their mouth. You look into their eyes and they were despairing. Terrified. If you want to see what a depressed pig looks like, New Zealand, take a look. I should have investigated um, the industry before I went into it, uh, and I am deeply ashamed that I was blinded by and took part in promoting this style of farming. Well, Chris Trengrove, the Pork Board Chairman, has been watching that along with Hans Creek from SAFE, who's in our Wellington studio. Mr Trengrove, I mean, that is an appalling state of affairs, isn't it? Oh, we were as appalled as you were to see that footage. Um, it's not typical of the industry. Uh, and, and I think probably Mike knows that is not typical of the industry. When, when you say not industry. typical, does that mean it, 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 what, it doesn't only exist on one farm? or? Uh, in New Zealand, we probably have over 50% of our sows are free range, outdoors or stall free. The industry has been moving away from the use of sow stalls for some years, uh, down to a, a point where we would be using them for four weeks. If you were to use stalls, they would be for a four week period. Uh, and that period is for the safety of the sow, for the welfare of the sow. Sows, when they are confined in buildings uh, after they have been weaned, uh, are very aggressive to each other and uh, that is the safest place for them. Sure, look, I would imagine any consumer watching would applaud the fact that most sours are free range. The issue is the conditions are the ones that are not and that what we saw last night, I think, has probably horrified most of your consumers. You guys must know this is going on. I have not been on a farm that looks anything like that. We are horrified as well, and we support the Minister in investigating that farm. That farm will be one of uh, uh, affiliated to the board? Well, all farmers are affiliated to the board in some way. They all pay levies, and uh, so yes. So as far as you're concerned, those conditions that we saw on Sunday last night, just to get this straight, are totally unacceptable to the New Zealand Pork Board? It was unacceptable what I saw. Um, I, you know, I have been on in many farms and I have not seen a farm in that condition. Mike King, are you going to look that for yourself? I mean, are we seeing an atypical example? I mean, I, this, is, this is just something... I honestly don't know. Uh, I went there because uh, a friend of mine sent me a link, uh, a link to um, the SAFE website where I viewed footage of sows with dead pigs and, um, and, and extremely bad conditions. So I asked 
I rang the safe, uh, I rang Hans from safe, and I said, is this typical of a New Zealand farm? And he said, yes, it is. I said, I'd like to see for myself. They took me to a farm. You know, Mike, what some people are saying. They're saying, look, you're a hypocrite, because you're happy to take the coin and hold your nose, and now you're getting stuck into the I advice. would never have taken this job had I known these conditions existed. And if the Minister of Agriculture didn't know that these, these conditions existed, he's a farmer. How am I supposed to know? I took the word of these people, and they told me that this stuff was grown in God's own, and when you put it in those terms, you can only think that New Zealanders are the best in the world at looking after animals. So you just take people at their word. Uh, but in saying that, I do take responsibility. I should have investigated properly. Hans Creek, now you heard uh, Chris Trengrove there saying that most sows in this country are free range. In terms of those conditions that we saw last night, how do you describe them? Oh, I can tell you what Chris was saying is complete nonsense. They were uh, extremely typical of what is an intensive pig farm. Obviously not a free-range farm, but the conditions that you saw on that farm, I have seen on quite a few farms around the place. And I will challenge Chris Trengrove right now, name any offences that he actually saw on that footage, because what that farmer was doing actually was not breaking the law. Nothing that was happening on that farm breaks the law. And that's what we should be talking about, the fact that the law allows this to happen. OK, could you take us to other farms? Same as the ones that you took... So, similar to what you took so, my king I'm, to? I'm, I'm... Hans, could you... Are you yeah, saying you could take yeah. us to other ones? I mean, uh, uh, absolutely. Can no I, no I problem in, at all. If, if, in if, if, if... Sure, Chris. That, that farm has been filmed several times by SAFE. Um, I think you'll find that, that particular farm in all of their footage. OK, listen, Chris Trengo, can you, make, can you give us an assurance tonight? If we said, OK, we would like to go at random to any of your members' farms without, you know, without giving advance warning, would you be happy with that scenario, to put this to the test? Well, look, I've been in the industry for 30 years... Um, I, am, I do farm outdoors myself, I'm in Canterbury, um, and I am aware of indoor pig farming. I have visited several pig farms and I have never seen anything like that before. I believe you're looking for a yes what... or no. So you're saying... Yes you're... or no. You're saying that you haven't seen this before, so would you be happy then if we said, OK, let's put this to the test, we want to randomly go to a number of pig farms that come, within, in, in, come under the New Zealand Pork Board, You'd be happy with that? Your members would be happy with that? Absolutely. I think that, as Hans says, they, um, there are farms that do have sows and stalls. I think the important message is we're moving away from stalls. Uh, and I wish the rest of the world were. We do import 45% of our consumption, and they're coming from uh, conditions or from st stalls uh, that there is no welfare, uh, you know, guarding against uh, the welfare of the sow. But we know there are terrible conditions in, in, in other countries, but there is a standard, I suppose, we are, we are asking to be set for ourselves, and the, the board has talked about that as well. Look, you cancelled the Bacon Awards this week. Is that because you are concerned that the winner might end up having come from an operation like we saw last night? Not at all. I mean, he's, he had a pretty good chance of not coming from, a, from something like that, I'm sure. Um, but I think we wanted to get this matter cleared up so that um, we um, gave that uh, bacon producer um, the best possible spin that he could get on his, for his bacon. Mike King, I mean, do you feel more comfortable from what uh, Chris has told us? I can't wait to um, go along with Chris and visit some of these sites with you. Chris, do you bear any sort of ill will towards your former spokesman now sort of turning his guns on you? Well, I mean, obviously we're very disappointed. We thought we had a very good relationship with Mike for seven years. I'm sure Mike was aware that um, there were, there are stall totally issues. Totally not. Or have been, totally have been unaware. Totally Sorry, just a bit. What, what do you think he was aware of? I think he was aware that probably there are issues with stalls, both in New Zealand and around the world. It's, it's a well-known fact. I can categorically fact, I say people... totally unaware. If the Minister of Agriculture is unaware, I was totally unaware. But what you're saying is, I... Chris Stringgrove, is that he should have been aware that there are problem factors in this industry, in this country. Is that what you're saying? Well, well, I think most... I wouldn't say it was problem factors. There are issues with the public and understanding what sour stalls are there for. And as I said, we are moving... Look, look Mark, this Mark could I butt in there? Hang on, just one... 
We no, are, no, we are moving. We are moving this industry towards okay. the use of the sow stall for four weeks for those sows that are in and confined sure, situations. And I'm sure uh, everyone would have loved that move this when really it happens. We are running out of time. Mark. I just want to put this to you. You are happy, well, but you'll take please, us let, and let Mike King with you to look at, 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 we pick out some farms, you'd be happy to arrange that or to facilitate us doing some random checks on pig farms around this country? Absolutely. Um, you can con contact me tomorrow and if Mike and I want to go and visit some farms, that will be fine. Yes, well, we look forward to doing I'll, that. I'll, I'll come along as well, Mark, and I'll show you a few farms and you will not believe your eyes. OK, right. listen, thank you all. We, we look forward to that. Chris Trengrove from the Pork Board, we will be in touch with you tomorrow. Mike King, I hope you might have a bit of time to come along. I, I will find the time. And we can, we can see how this matter rests. Thank you all very much for your time.